Hello and welcome to another vlog. I have a few days off so I thought we could just hang out for a little bit. Today Clinton is out at his mum's helping her with a few things. So I'm just chilling at home. I just really need a day to oh, relax, debrief, get a few things done. So we went and finished some of our Christmas shopping yesterday. We're not like doing a lot of gifts. Clinton and I aren't even doing gifts for each other. We do a secret Santa with my siblings and then we just got Clinton's mum some things. We also play like the stealing game. I think it's called the white elephant game. Um, so we got some funny things for that. Now I do keep a few containers, like storage containers. This one's got all wrapping paper in it for Christmas and birthdays. This little one, this is from Kmart. It's actually so good. I love this little container. Um, as you can see, ribbons, bows, little cards, things like that. And then just like a medium sized one with gift bags and a few other things. So I'm gonna go through these and pull out some things for wrapping. Okay, so for my niece, I got her this In My Heart book. It's a book of feelings. I love buying her books like this. I just, Kmart has the best range of like encouraging books for kids. So she just turned four and yeah, it says like, my heart is full of feelings, big feelings, small feelings, loud and quiet. And yeah, it goes on to say like, you know, sometimes my heart feels happy. Um, sometimes it feels strong and like, you know, a little description and like angry. I just, oh, I love these kind of books. I can't wait to buy them for my own baby. And then I also got her an Isabella doll because I said to my sister, does she want an, what's her name? Mirabelle doll. And she goes, no. I heard her in the background. I like Isabella. <laughs> okay. And then for my nephew, he's literally like four months old. I just got him one of these little books. Like he doesn't need anything, but it's just too cute. For Clinton's mum, she loves meerkats. And last year we got her these meerkat pajamas from Peter Alexander. And this year they've got new meerkat jammies. They're actually so cute. Like, look at that. And then the pants are green. And then they had a matching baby set. So we got these little ones so that she can match with her very first grandbaby. Isn't that cute? I got this red and white checker wrapping paper from Cotton On. I absolutely love it. And I'm watching Jessica Braun, her Vlogmas while I wrap prezzies. I love watching these guys vlogmas every year. Okay, everything is wrapped behind me there, except I'm having second thoughts on these meerkat pajamas, like the sizing. So I think I'm going to go to the shops and just exchange them and then that'll be everything. I don't really wanna to go to the shops, but there are a few other things I need to do. So let's just get it done today, hey? All right, I just have on some bike pants, it's pretty much all I live in now. An oversized tee and a Converse. Here is my 22 week bump. What's bigger, my belly or my bum? <laughs> Look at her in there. All right, well, while we've got a little bit of time on our drive, I just want to say the biggest thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Ah, oh my God. I appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos and leaves me comments. I really do have such a kind, loving and caring community. And I am so, so grateful for that. I've been on YouTube for a lot of years. <laughs> like, a long time on and off. I'll see if I can find an old video and I'll insert some footage. Hi everyone, my name is Tanika and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing this everyday makeup look. Today I'm going to be doing this look here for you using the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. But I swear I was like weirdly shy for some reason. I don't know. Had this quiet voice. I started my channel when I lived with like when Clinton, I lived with Clinton, but we lived with his mom. Um, 
and I brought this camera. I didn't have autofocus, the screen didn't flip around. So when I'd go to edit half the time, I'd watch back my footage and it would be out of focus. It was so annoying. <laughs> but I would literally sit on the floor and sit my camera on like some books and stuff. Oh my god, it's just, it's been a long journey and a lot of you have been here for a really long time as well, like just supporting me, enjoying my content and I just can't say thank you enough. My YouTube channel definitely started off as like a space to share products and whatever knowledge I thought I had about um, like makeup for fair skin because back then when I started there really was not a lot like the industry has come a long way there's still you know a long way to go but it's definitely come far since when I first started just the YouTube space has changed I feel like you know the content I create and the content I want to create it doesn't get like as many views and interest as it used to you know five years ago which is fine because I love making it and I love talking about makeup and products that work for fair skin and like Aussie beauty I have been doing a few more vlogs lately which I think you guys are enjoying um, I would love it if you would leave me a comment like letting me know what your favorite style of content is from me yeah it's a really fun like creative outlet for me and it just really makes me happy when I got when I get comments from you guys saying like I tried out that product you recommended and it was fantastic I love it thank you so much it's like oh, you are welcome like that makes me so happy when a product recommendation really works you know because I do take a lot of pride in being honest and upfront online it is hard to build trust and to keep that trust and I do like to think I have that with you guys and with my audience so yeah as I said YouTube is a hobby for me um, and it has been for a very long time I do get a lot of great collaboration deals with brands but it's mostly on like Instagram or TikTok not really on YouTube I do earn a small um, income from YouTube monthly from ads but if it was possible I would love to create content full-time like I don't know you never know what's gonna happen and I feel like content creation is really hard you do have to put in like a hundred and ten percent effort and show up a lot and I just don't have the time to show up that much and I really don't know how people keep up with that as well as working full-time and like we're about to bring a baby into this world as well so it's like how the hell am I gonna do it all <laughs> but I don't know I enjoy creating what I can and I just yeah thank you to everyone for watching my videos and supporting me all right i just got back from the shops stopped in at the 7-eleven to get a snack and a sweet treat strawberry milk mm. yum and then i got a sausage roll which i've already half eaten on the drive home <laughs> i always get two sauces and clinton's always like that's so much sauce but you need a really good amount per bite, you know? Like, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so from the shops, I got a gift voucher for Mum for Christmas from Endota Spa. Um, me and my brother went hard in that. Got it like a nice spa package. I found these shirts at Glassons. They're like the tiniest little crop top. It covers my boobs nicely. But um, they're good because I can wear them with like a high-waisted skirt or my bike shorts. And they're just good coming into summer. And I can still wear a normal bra with them. So I just got a black and a white. They were two for 30 and I know Glassons is like a teeny bopper shop, but can you get some sizes in there? Everything, XS, S, 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 S. I'm like, hello. I got these big old titties. I got any larges lying around. Um, and then I went to Supray and I got this like midi length skirt. I don't know, but I got a size small and it's very stretchy. Like it has a lot of stretch to it. So that'll be good for the growing bump. 
And then also from Supre, I got, now this is a knit fabric. Excuse me, I just scoffed that sausage roll. <laughs> this is a maxi length uh, dress. So this is what sold me to this, okay? We've got over the shoulder, so I can wear a normal bra. The back is fully covered. Again, I can wear a normal bra. Um, sleeveless, so good coming into summer. I'm not gonna be all hot and sweaty. And it has quite a bit of stretch to it, so it's going to grow with me. I end up getting that in a size medium, and it also come in a black and like a baby blue. But I'll probably try all this on for you tomorrow. And then I went to, oh, Peter Alexander didn't have more of the meerkat pajamas in store. So I just returned them and have ordered them again online. And then I went to Kiki K because my friend from work, she is, well, it was her birthday yesterday and she's about to leave and go become a flight attendant. So I got her a little diary so she can keep organized with some pens and just these little travel cases. I guess they can be used for anything really, but I thought that would be good for her when she's gonna be on the go a lot. And then from Kiki K as well, I got these tell me more cards. Um, they're 52 question cards. So ask a question, start the conversation. I thought that that would be good like for Christmas when I'm away with my family. Um, some examples. If you could relive one day in your life, what day would you choose? What is one item in your life you can't live without and why? What was the last book you read? What is your favorite song right now? Just things like that. Good conversation starters. And like with me and my family, one card, I'm sure we could all go on for a good half an hour. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that that will be quite fun. They actually had a few different packs there and they only $20. So if you're looking for something like that, even like a good um, secret Santa Prezi. I also bought um, the game called Monikers um, from Amazon. I played it recently at my friend's house and it was so fun. I'm not even gonna bother trying to explain it, but if you know, you know, can't wait to get that. Okay, in my makeup room now, and this is where I have been dumping all of my um, packages that I've gotten from the week. Um, a lot of them were Black Friday sales. So let's start. Got a bit of Paula's choice here because I did get um, some skincare for my sister and I picked up another one of the 2% BHA exfoliating liquid. This is amazing for my skin when it comes to blackheads. Really actually like gets rid of them. From Sephora, I picked up this Eco, Eco Sonia. Hmm. I thought the brand was Eco Tan. I don't know, but it's this Glory Oil. I saw Georgie, I don't know her last name, but I follow her on Instagram and stuff. Um, she used this when she was pregnant and just said it really like helped to hydrate her skin and stuff. I know that I can't prevent stretch marks. They are genetic but it still feels really nice to just hydrate my skin, my boobs, my belly, my hips, my thighs, my butt, <laughs> all of it. So Sephora actually had 20% off, so that was good. And then I actually had a few points. So I got some little samples here. This is the Biosense, Biosense, Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. I got the Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask and a boschia probably butchering all of these um firming icy cold cleanser from nakia joy cosmetics i finally bought some of her velvet finishing powder to try this has such good reviews and i have had a lot of people recommend it to me um on youtube or like asking me to try it out it does only come in one shade, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I got a two-pack of her sponges. As you know, I'm a bit of a sponge snob, so hopefully these are good. They do feel really nice and bouncy. 
I did a little shop on Rye because they had Glasshouse candles on sale and they also had like 20 or 30% shop back or something. Really good. So I got a diffuser in Taha to go into my lounge room and they're actually quite big. Like look how big that is. How many mils is it? 250 mil. And then I got two of my favorite candles. This is Kyoto, I think that's how you say it. And this one here, Bora Bora, oh my God. Just really nice, fresh, summery scents. And then they packed in the samples as well. Like these are all the free samples I got. And this here is a full size Antipodes product. It's the Worship Skin Defense Antioxidant Serum. Like, that's full size. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I got a few samples there. And then the last thing that I bought is from Marvel Lane. Now, I have been sussing this brand out for a long time. They sell bikinis um, and swimwear for big busted ladies. So, I finally bit the bullet because they were having a little bit of a sale. The tops are usually 150 but it was on sale for 130 I just got a basic black top. This is in the style Emily and I went for a 12G. They go from like, oh, I don't know. They go, I'll put it on the screen. They go up pretty big cup sizes. The clasp is just beautiful. It feels so luxe and the band, I did try it on. It's not like super tight where it feels like you're suffocating. I probably could have gone up a size in the bust, but my boobs are just growing so much right now, so I don't know, but it still fits really nicely. Nice thick straps, feels really supportive. Underwire, this little tie here in the middle can like pull your boobs together a bit more if you want. Um, and then I just got a white sarong because we are going over to Stradbroke Island for a week and I thought that would be nice for down at the beach. But yeah, that is all my packages. <laughs> all right, it's like 8.30, my click and collect is ready. So let's go get the groceries. Okay, I didn't get much this week, just a top up. I did, however, order 12 bags of spinach instead of two. They must have thought I was Popeye or something. Like, what the hell? Why does someone need 12 bags of spinach? So I took them back in and I was like, can you please um, refund me? <laughs> but anyway, two bags of spinach, which are we really calling this a bag of spinach? Like, um, hello. Okay, I got some gluten free bread, the one that I ordered they didn't have, so they substituted it for this one. So I hope it's okay. My favorite snack, salt and vinnies. I got a few of these meal bases a cottage pie, deviled sausages, and these herbed potatoes. I got some silver side. I know you're not really meant to eat deli meat when you're pregnant, but I've been putting it on toasty, so like heating it up and it's delicious. So I really feel like a ham, silver side, pickle, like yellow cheese, um, a mustard and mayo sandwich. Mm, yum. French onion dip, got some sparkling waters, and just some beef mints. That is going to be for some like beef chili with corn chips this week. One thing I don't like about Click and Collect is that they do put all your fruit and veg in bags. And when I do the shopping myself, like I just put it in the trolley. Does an avocado need a bag? Absolutely not. So dumb. So I have avocado, some bananas, but I do have a bag of bags in the laundry that I then go and put like in the soft recycling at Coles when it gets full. A cucumber, some oranges. Again, I don't need a bag. I'm not eating the skin. One tasty mango. I always forget oh, how good mangoes are until it's mango season again. And then it's like, holy shit, yes. Mm. Um, some raspberries, a capsicum. I thought I ordered blueberries as well. Hmm, I might have to check that. I painted my nails last night. I don't usually because I've got like really short, stubby, just gross nails. They break easily, like, I don't know. But lately, 
<laughs> they've been looking good. So I used this polish here from Essence. It's the Shine, Last and & Go. And it has left a really nice shine. What shade is this? This is Call Me Rusty. But then I also went over the top of it with this Essie um, top coat. I don't know if this is meant to be used with like other gel nail polishes, but they do look quite shiny. All right, let's get to that try on, shall we? First up, I need to take off these slippers because they are just squeaky, is the white dress from Supre. I really love this. I think it sits nicely on my bump. It is a little bit see-through. Oh, do not wear black undies with it. <laughs> but it's super cozy and I really love the length. It's actually a bit more see-through than what, a, like what it looks like in the dressing room. For $60, that's a bit, okay. Like I can fully see my belly button. <laughs> Oh well, it's nice anyway. Nude undies, nude bra. Again, everything just looks see-through. What the hell? Look at me belly button. <laughs> Yesterday when I tried things on though, I did have a nude bra and nude undies on. So maybe that's why. But this skirt on the Supre website is meant to be low rise. Not for me, hun. Again, I like the length. It's nice and cozy, nice and stretchy room to grow and then this is the top from glassens it actually kind of like is tight here so i like that it sits nicely there again covers the bra straps that's what the back looks like oh my god so see-through <laughs> all right well the agenda for today is kind of just like an admin day i really need to get organized with a whole bunch of stuff but i think i might leave that for a little bit later so I'm feeling so tired all of a sudden. I think I might just put on a movie or something and have a nap. Good morning, it is the next day. I ended up having a good nap yesterday. And then when I finally got up, I spent a few hours doing like my life admin stuff. So got a lot of that done, which felt good. Organized some collabs. Just like lots of little shit that builds up and it's like, oh my God. But anyway, got all that done, which was good. Made a delicious pesto pasta for dinner, like a creamy one with mushrooms and bacon and chicken. Oh my God, it was so delicious. And then went to bed. I was so tired. We watched The Grinch, which I don't think I've ever watched it to the end. I must always fall asleep because I was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> but we watched The Grinch, which was fun. And I was so tired. It was like eight o'clock. And then got into bed and my eyes were just like wide awake, which really doesn't happen for me. Like I'm head on the pillow, I'm crashed out in five minutes, but I was sitting there like laying there awake for like an hour and a half. It was ridiculous. So I am exhausted this morning, but gotta go to work. I do have tomorrow off, which would be nice. I've got some um, brand collab stuff I need to film. So that'll keep me going tomorrow. But yeah, I will probably just talk to you then because I just know when I get home this afternoon, I'm having a shower and going to bed. <laughs> Good morning. It is Wednesday and yes, I'm in the same shirt. You'll notice that like in all my vlogs, I just recycle the same clothes day after day. But anyway, um, today I am filming some content. I've got one for I make monthly content for a brand, like for their social media. So I've got two videos to do for them today. And then I've got a TikTok to do with Emco Beauty. I, oh my God, it just makes me so happy when I get to collaborate with brands that I really, really love. And Emco is one of them. So I'm doing two videos with them. Very exciting. And then I'll have to edit that, get it over to them today for... What's the word called? Seriously, I just, I can't think at the moment. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, then I need to organize the food situation for Christmas, um, what I'm bringing, kind of delegate something to each family member, like what their input is gonna be on Christmas day. And then I'll probably have a nap, let's be real. 
Oh my God, last night she was kicking so hard. Like sometimes she kicks and it actually scares me. Like I'm not expecting it. And it's just like, whoa, like damn, did I upset you? <laughs> Even the other day she kicked like I wasn't expecting it. And it felt like when you're in a car and you go down a hill and like you just, like your belly drops and you get those butterflies. I was like, oh my God. <sighs> Quick update on this nail polish as well. It like all chipped off within literally a day. So I haven't touched it up because I'm doing some filming, but I'll probably take it off tomorrow. It was just not very good. When I take it off, I think that I will put on some press-ons that I just got sent from Glowy. Oh my God, she wrote me the most beautiful note. So her name is Chloe and she just said like, congratulations on your pregnancy. Um, like a few really nice things and then said she remembers that I said I love brown nails and then she also sent me some of her short and sweet style nails because she thought that they would be better for when I have the baby. It's just so thoughtful. Oh my god, it makes me so happy. But let me show you the nail. We love beautiful packaging. Oh my god. Stunning. Stunning. This is the style. What have we got here? Coffee date. These ones are almond latte. And then these are the short and sweet ones. This is angel energy. And what have we got here? La Madame. So this is the difference between the regular and the short and sweet. I love them. Oh my God. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with a longer pair for now. I'm really loving these, really loving these. I'm just having um, my favorite meal at the moment, Nutella on toast. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've talked about this YouTube channel on YouTube. I've definitely spoken about it on Instagram, but if you're a Real Housewives fan, this YouTube channel called The Real Housewives Edit is so good. It's a commentary channel, but she loves editing. So as she watches through the scene, she talks about how the editing makes you feel, makes you react. It's just really, really interesting. So she did a lot of the last season of Beverly Hills and now she is doing Potomac, which I love Potomac so much. I did recently start watching new, oh no, what is it? Salt Lake City because I just finished New York. I loved New York. That was just amazing. I, towards the end, it got a bit eh, but still great series. Salt Lake City, there's only three seasons. I just started season two last night, but let me just show you this YouTube channel. <laughs> I just love Housewives, man. It's like the only show I watch. So this is what it looks like here. I believe her name is Elle. And yeah, so she actually has a bit of Salt Lake City in here, but I'm not gonna watch these ones yet because I'm not like up to date but I am up to date with the Potomac one. So I'm catching up on those. She has done some of like the classic episodes too. So Scary Island from New York. Um, there was another New York one that she did that was really, really popular. Oh, like even this, Seven Types of Housewives. Just really interesting comedy. I mean, commentary. Oh my God. No, <laughs> I can't wait for this episode. <clears throat> But yeah, if you love Real Housewives, definitely check out this channel. All right, all my content is done. I have edited my MCO Be <sighs> Beauty video as well and sent it off for approval. That is the word I was trying to find before. Um, I've done my makeup. I'm just gonna head down to Coles now and grab a few things. Oh, it's been a good day. Like I've had energy, I'm getting shit done. Love this for me. Holy hell, it is hot out here. What on earth? Oh, 34 degrees. It stormed last night too. Like the rain and the um, lightning woke me up. I'm not ready for Queensland summer. I'm just not. Good morning, I end up Having a little nap yesterday and then going to see a friend which is why i was a bit mia but it is thursday i've got work 
Look at my ratchet nails. Yuck, I didn't get around to doing them either. <laughs> um, but I thought I would just get ready with you and show you the light makeup that I do for work because I am still wearing a mask. So using my L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. Now I'm pretty certain they've discontinued that, which is devastating because it's my favorite primer and I have raved about it on YouTube for years. Oh, so I need to find another one that I really like because I was also using one by Astralis, but I think that's gone too. What's that about? The Steela One Step Correct is really good, but I want a drugstore option to be able to recommend. All right, and then I'm going to go in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. If you haven't tried this yet, I'm telling you, you need to. I also love the packaging. It's like, you're not wasting. So I just take a little bit of that, like tiny, tiny smidge, and just use my finger to apply it under my eyes. Tap, tap, tap. I just love the coverage that it gives. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. I don't need to set it with powder either. Like I can just leave it, which is amazing. I've never really had a concealer that I could do that with before. All right, and then I am going to put on a little bit of blush. I'll use the Astralis Dewy and Daring. I love this, guys. I've got Side Chick, which is a bit more of a peachy kind of shade. As I said, I wear a mask, so like it's not like that. Ugh, like I don't need to put makeup on, but I do like just putting a little bit on to feel fresh in the mornings, you know? Right, and then for brows, I'm using my NYX Brow Glue. I do need to tint my brows. They're starting to look a little bit invisible. If I'm not using this, the other product I've been dipping into a lot lately is the NYX Thick It Stick It in the shade Orb. And I actually really like that shade. I'll put some on now and show you that it adds quite a nice tint. This one has like a lot of fibers in it, but it doesn't stick my brows down as much as the brow glue. And also this is a tiny little um, packet, but it has lasted a really long time. There you go, so that just tints them a little more. All right, then I've got my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Cool Ash Brown. And I just like to go in and fill in all these gaps. All right, and then I like to go in just with a little bit of a cool brown shadow. This is the individual Rimmel. What is that noise? Um, individual Rimmel shadow in All About the Base. Again, I think it's discontinued. I was using it as a contour, but I also really like the eyeshadow shade. I just like to go in with a little bit under my eyes. I don't know, I just feel like my under eyes look funny when I put mascara on and there's no shadow there. Like, I just need a little bit. Surely that's not the bin man already. Because I haven't put the bins out. Right, and then for mascara, I'm going to use my MCO Beauty Extend Lash. All right, and that's it. Very simple, basic makeup for the day. All right, this is what I'm wearing today. It's a dress. It is a little bit short. I just, I can't wear pants anymore. I even bought some good, like, maternity office like dressy pants and already they're just too tight and I went up a size so I'm like shit but this dress is from forever new buttons fit my boobs good it is really nice and it's got pockets <laughs> and I've just got converse on because again I've got a really nice pair of office shoes from Frankie Four because I used to wear Frankie Four sneakers in hospitality and they look good with pants, but they look stupid with skirts and dresses. And I could wear stockings, but they hurt my tummy. So what are you gonna do? All right, I'm just going to have a quick bowl of cornflakes. I'm starving. I'm usually pretty good with having my lunches packed, but ever since being pregnant, it's just a bit tricky. <laughs> I have a morning tea at work which I usually classify as breakfast because I don't always eat breakfast every morning before I go, but I'm starving today. So I've just got some vanilla yogurt with some raspberries, a bit of muesli on there. 
And then I like to go in with a variety of bird seed. I've got flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. Please don't judge the way I'm cutting my orange. I feel like whenever um, people cook or do anything with food online, it's like an invitation for, um, for being grilled, <laughs> especially on TikTok. Oh, people get mad about cooking over there. Shut up. If they like it like that, then let them be. Unless you're giving them like proper, you know, tips or ideas. Just shut up. So if you have a proper tip or idea for me, go for it. But if you just want to laugh at the way I cut my orange, <laughs> laugh in your head. <laughs> orange done. I really need some lunch, but I've got nothing. So I might have to buy lunch at work. I might just take a few more snacks because I'm a hungry girl lately. And I'll definitely need a snack for the car ride home. I lied. I'm going to do a toasty. I've got cheese and like some sliced chicken. There we go. Easy peasy. Don't need to buy lunch. Just save myself some cash. And I'll just toast that up at work. Morning. It is Saturday. Um, I just dropped Clinton and a friend off into the city because they're going to watch the cricket today. Sounds like my worst nightmare sitting in the sun watching sport, but okay. <laughs> I've had a bit of an emotional few days. I think I'm just so tired, but today I'm just going to rest. I think I really want to do these ratchet nails and I'll edit this vlog. So it should be a pretty chill day, but first of all, I need to pay out some washing. I like to peg the washing up inside because I leave it in here for days and if it's outside it gets um, like marks on it from the sun and the pegs. <laughs> so I hang it up in here. No sun, no pegs. Oh my god, have you guys watched um, Old People's Home for Four Year Olds? It's on ABC iView. <sighs> oh my god, there's two seasons of it and it is the most wholesome show ever. Like. It makes me cry when I'm not pregnant. So when I finished it the other day in my pregnant state, oh my God, tears everywhere. <laughs> and then they have also released one, Old People's Homes, Old People's Home for Teenagers. So I started that last night and watched two episodes and one of the old men died during filming and I was just bawling my eyes out. He was like 94 or something. But if you're, ask, if, if you're after a wholesome show, you've got to watch it. It is just the sweetest thing seeing the oldies interact with the toddlers. Oh my god, they're not, are they toddlers or four-year-olds? Toddlers? I don't know. It's just beautiful. Like it makes me think of my niece and just how much joy she has brought into like all of my family's lives. And she's four at the moment. And she's just so fun and adorable and has so much love to give. It's just a really good show. If you've watched it, tell me. Look at my poor little peace lily. She's thirsty. I'm no plant expert, but I am managing to keep a few alive. So I just like to give it water like this. I'm sure there's a word for that, but that's what I do. I'll actually um, show you some of my plants and any experts can give me some tips because I know nothing. So these hanging plants I did have up there, but they were getting like really crisp in the sun, as you can see. I could probably give them another water. This one is just not looking as lush as it used to. And I've got these here. They look like they need a water too. Oh, actually, it's just dried out on the top there. Hmm, not bad. A new leaf here, which is exciting. And then, oh, another new leaf on this one. These ones aren't as big as this plant, but I don't even know what this plant is. If someone can tell me. Um, let's just not talk about that. <laughs> Alright, I have an orchid here that was gifted to me. I did have it in 
um, the lounge room, but I think it was too dark because two of the flowers fell off. So it's doing better out here. I think I need to dust it. And then the only other real plants I have are some, they called devil's ivy, like the vines. This one over here seems to be doing well. The one in the laundry is the best. Look at this baby. Oh my goodness, she is long. Beautiful, oh, a little bit of a yellow leaf there. And then I've got another one in the lounge room here, which seems to be doing a little bit better. It wasn't growing very well for a while, but got some new leaves. Stunning. So yeah, if you have any plant tips for me, please go ahead because I am just not a green thumb. <laughs> I like to have real plants. I love the greenery, but um, yeah, I need low maintenance vibes. All right, nails are done. I love them. Super cute. I will link in the description box down below. It's not affiliate or anything, but if you like press on nails. All right, well, I think I might end it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Again, I really appreciate you all watching and subscribing. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. You can come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.